Hello everybody, welcome to quarantine workout number 47, brought to you by Zeofit. And here we find ourselves, I don't know about you, but I am really sore from the week's work so far. Uh, I saw some of the work that some of you guys have been doing and fantastic stuff, keep it up. Today is gonna be a little bit more on the chill side. So we're gonna work in a little bit of what you've come to expect from a Saturday, which is like a hybrid yoga flow with a little bit of strength. For this, the strength is gonna be upper body, uh, upper body focused, and uh, we're, we're really gonna keep it pretty light. So you're gonna go through this flow five times, and the way it works is it's, it's circuit number one and circuit number two. Circuit number one is the flow. So you go through that, then you go to circuit number two. Now circuit number two is three different moves, and you go through that three times each round, and the reps go down each time you go through. So for instance, I'm gonna go through circuit number one right now, and then I'm gonna go through circuit number two, and circuit number, th circuit number two is gonna be bicep curls, diamond push-ups, and mountain climbers. Now, the first time I go through it, it's gonna be 12 reps of, of uh, the first two things, 60 reps of mountain climbers. Second time through, it's gonna be 10. Third time through, it's gonna be eight. The mountain climbers are always whatever number you did on the curls and the diamond push-ups times five. So 12, 10, eight, that's gonna be 60, 50, 40 for those. So each time one full round consists of one round of circuit number one and three rounds of circuit number two. So once you do that, that's one round. We're gonna go through this whole thing five times. I just did a round and it took me, um, took me about seven minutes to complete a round. So you go through five times, you figure conservatively, it's gonna be taking you about 40, 45 minutes, okay? Once you get through the warm up. So that's another 10 minutes or so for the warm up. So you do have your general warm up as usual. Get through that general warm-up, and then we got a basic 10 and 10. So I'll just walk out, good push-up, getting you ready for the work that we're gonna do. And of course, your corrective squats. Don't forget to be perfect. But now, let's get right into this. So the way this goes, we start with downward dog, and we're gonna be doing a cobra push-up into this. So here I am in my downward dog, stacking my shoulders. I'm gonna come down, close to the ground, then I'm gonna bring my elbows in and press up. I want that last bit to be like a tricep extension, right? So I press up, shift back. That was one, two, three. You're gonna go for five. So after the fifth one, then you're gonna step up into a lunge outside the hand. Now what we're doing here, PNF stretching. So you're gonna squeeze the knee and push it hard into the shoulder, hold your breath, and then relax out roll that foot out to the side, drop that knee down out to the outside, exhale, breathe in, squeeze, and release, breathe in, squeeze and release, and we're going to go through this five times as well. Once you finish that, come up into a lunge, put the back knee down on the ground, and point the back toe so you're laying the top of the foot on the ground. Now we're going to set the posture. You want to use your core to round your spine and tilt your hips underneath, so place your hands on your knee, and then crunch using your body, press your hands into your knee, and you feel your hips move back and squeeze as you do so. You should feel this flexor load up. All right, so once you've set your posture, then hold that posture, don't let it go, come up into a streamline, and then you're gonna push and just lift that back knee off the ground. Remember, you're on the top of that foot. You do that five times, then reset, put your toe back down on the ground, and you're gonna push up into Mountain, and now we're going into figure four. This is five times. Everything is five times. Breathe in. Find your breath on everything. And out. And in. And four. And in. And five. Then we're going to walk out into a tripod. Kick it up. Swing it to the knee. Breathe in. And out. When I come up into that tripod, I'm pressing back into that downward dog. So I'm pressing my shoulders back and then pulling and squeezing my abs and twisting my hip underneath. So I go through that five times, back to downward dog. Now I go through the other side. I repeat this, this is symmetrical, five times. Downward dog, step into that lunge again, right? And then repeat the squeeze, then the uh, lunge, press, then 
the mountain figure four, and you do that on both sides. Once I finish that, I move on to circuit number two. So what I got here, bicep curls. Now there's options. I'm gonna do the TRX, double bicep curl this way. That's fine. If you wanna grab this bug out bag, you can hold the backpack. You can curl it up this way. Now this is only 25 pounds. It's not particularly heavy for me, but if I do it in one arm, 25 pounds is a lot more challenging. So you might want to rig up two bags so you can do double there. It's really up to you. If you want to use the bed sheet, latch it over the door to do that DIY TRX type of move, that's up to you. So you got bicep curls, first round is 12. Then you got diamond push-ups, 12. Go from the knees if you gotta, the full range, and then mountain climbers. So the first round is 60. So once I finish 60, then I go back to the curls, then I do 10. Bicep or uh, tri uh, diamond push ups, I do 10. Mountain climbers, I do 50. Then I go back to the curls, I do 8. Diamond push ups, I do 8. Mountain climbers, I do 40. And then I'm going into the second round. So I start again from the top with those oh, Cobra push ups. So that's the work, right? You go through that entire thing five times. And then what I would really like for you to do is get some aerobic work. I, I'm gonna take this bike out. I'm borrowing this sweet, sweet bike from my friend. And uh, I'm really excited to get out there, clip in and, and, and get on the paths and tear it up. I haven't done any biking this whole time. So I'm looking forward to switching it up and uh, doing some biking. I'll probably do some long stuff. I'll probably do some sprints. You know, just have fun and, and just, just get into a rhythm. That's what I want you to do. Have fun, get into a rhythm. There is a new condensed breathing cadence PMR and race visualization that I'm going to be posting soon. It is audio only. So once you get through that work, I'd like you to bookmark some time today to go and get into that. And then going forwards, I'd like you to use that consistently as much as you like, but preferably not less than once a week. At least do this mental visualization, relaxation training at least once a week, if not more. Remember guys, during this time, taking advantage of having the time to work on your mind-body connection is a very big opportunity and I want all you guys out there to make the most of it. Go and get some.